Hey everyone, it's Logan here. Uh, so I am a backyard mechanic type of guy and you can see behind me here, that is the current situation for my garage. Um, I'll show you around it a little bit, but it's, uh, it's pretty sad. Yeah, so as you can see, or maybe you can't really see, there's not a lot of room in here. It's pretty uh, crammed full of stuff. Just uh, basically a storage shed right now. The building itself is basically rotten. So I'm gonna need to tear it down. Um, so essentially, I, I really don't have a garage. That's kind of what it comes down to. So I would really like to build one. And uh, so I've started. Last fall I started, and I'll just uh, show you where I'm at. So I'm here with my right-hand man, Sawyer, the guy with the tape. You got tape, right? Yeah. 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 So uh, I'm just gonna. So I'm just doing some uh, inventory here to see what I've got for. Uh, lumber. I'm gonna make a take a trip to the lumber yard and grab the rest of the wood that I need to do the framing. Um, yeah, so I'll just give you a little rundown on where I'm at. Last fall, as it was getting pretty cold, I uh, started digging here and I uh, got the foundation laid. My original plan was to have it over there where all those weeds are, um, but I found out after I had scraped the sod off that my natural gas line runs right through there and so that was uh, that was not an option so I had to quickly change plans and put it here um, yeah I'm just I did two pours already and the reason I did it this way is because uh, my styrofoam will go here and then my floor will go on top of that and then any water that's going to be inside the building is just going to run up against this um, this curb and obviously the wall is going to sit on top of it um, I like that because like most garages if you just do a thickened edge slab any water that's running towards the outside which hopefully it doesn't but it does and any water is going to just run right against your the bottom of your wall and everybody knows that means it's going to rot so got my trusses there 30 foot trusses this is it's 30 feet on this wall and then the, the actually the depth of it is 26 feet so under all the weeds here you can see a little pipe there and that's for my floor drain i want to be able to wash vehicles and that stuff so what i did is i just uh put that pipe to the outside of the building here And, and I dug in this, uh, this piece of plastic pipe. It's perforated, has holes in the outside, and I put crushed rock around the bottom of it so then the water is supposed to drain away from it. And actually, right now there's no water in it, which is a good sign. It's five feet deep and there's no water down there. Certain times of year there will be, but I'm just hoping that it'll be deep enough to drain away any water that's that's gonna come out of my garage these are all the two by sixes that I have left over from doing my concrete work those are gonna be my some of my studs I'm trying to save money where I can just using up lumber that I've already used I'm off to the lumber yard to get some more wood for framing up the garage just tell you a little bit about the project and the way I'm approaching it. Um, 
I'm the type of guy that likes to save money where wherever it's possible. Um, probably a lot of you are, are that way. Um, so yeah, I'll just along the way I'll tell you a few of the ways that I've been able to save money on this project. Uh, the trusses that I got, they are ones that were ordered to a trust company and the person that ordered them didn't want them and so they ended up sitting around there for a while and they posted them on uh, classified ads and I picked those up. Uh, I think it was a thousand bucks for the trusses and ladders and gable trusses, the whole package. So that was a really good deal there. Uh, those garage doors I was measuring, they came from a house. Uh, what happened is the somebody was pushing snow and they bumped into the door, kinked two of the panels, and so then the homeowner decided to replace them, put those up for sale. I think it paid about 700 bucks for the set. Uh, so that was a really good deal too. The one thing with uh, saving money is you gotta be willing to not save time. Uh, it's a lot slower if you're, you know, finding materials on classifieds and going to pick them up. Um, yeah, use, use materials take longer to install. Uh, so there's, there's some downsides to it for sure. Uh, but if you have the time and you're willing to, to take it, you can save a lot of money. The other thing is doing it yourself. Um, I'm a do-it-yourselfer. I just learn things by watching YouTube videos, checking things out online. Um, a lot of money to be saved by just doing it yourself. I work at a farm as well, and so this time of year I'm actually quite busy. I'm just home for a couple days because my wife just had a baby, and so that's really exciting. Um, I'm not working on the garage now, just for the record, but um, so yeah, I'm actually going right into potato harvest here shortly. So I'm not going to have a lot of time to work on the garage, uh, but the cool thing with having the baby is that my in-laws are coming out and my father-in-law and sister-in-law love building stuff and so they are pretty excited actually to work on the garage. I may not even be doing a lot of the framing, they might end up doing a big chunk of it, uh, which is kind of too bad, but also awesome to have family who love helping out. Yeah, one thing I'm still trying to decide is what to do for the roof. Um, tin is good, uh, but it fades, and I'm not sure what the cost difference is at this point between tin and shingles. The other factor is that OSB has gone up like crazy in the last couple months here in price. I think like four months ago, I think it was like 15 bucks, and now it's 30 bucks a sheet. Um, it might even be cheaper to just buy plywood, honestly. So I'm not sure. I'd like to shingle the roof, um, but because of the cost of OSB, that might not be a great idea. I did get a pile of used shiplap from a guy that I was going to use for sheeting. I might do that. I could also use it as strapping if I do tin. Uh, I am doing tin on the walls, so that's an option. Still not quite sure. Yeah, so the concrete went okay. Now, like I said, it was cold. So I was, yeah, I had to heat it, which was pretty inconvenient, but it worked. Um, actually, taking the sod off was kind of nice because it was frozen, just the thickness of the sod, so I could just pull that off with a with a backhoe and scrape it off that way so that worked good um, yeah we did that myself too had had a bit of help from friends which is nice uh, I had to get my wife to help a little bit um, congrats to her for 
being willing to do that. Um, but yeah, concrete is a lot of work and it's a little stressful if you're doing it by yourself. When the truck shows up, you gotta coordinate it with being ready for them and, and just being able to, you know, deal with the concrete once it's poured, obviously screeding and that kind of stuff, raking. So if you're, if you're taking on a concrete project, I would say make sure you got adequate help. It's important. But that's another reason I didn't pour the floor right away. It was cold. For one, I want to make sure that I have a good floor. And so I didn't want to try troweling or anything when it was so cold. Um, so just went with the uh, with the foundation and the and the curb on top of it until the shell is up. And then if I if I need to pour in, in the cold weather, then I can at least heat the space and make sure it's good. But uh, concrete does get more expensive when it's cold. Uh, they have to heat it when they bring it and I'm not sure what exactly all brings the cost up but it is more expensive if it's below zero. Got a load of wood on the on the grocery getter here. Handling wasn't too great on the highway but did the job so here's where I'm not saving money. I um, found out today that studs have basically almost doubled in price since since I bought uh, the wood that I use for my concrete so that sucks but it is what it is is there some wood on the back of the truck uh. yeah should we, should we unload it uh. okay